It's rare that a coach departs after such success. Cricket Australia have confirmed Langer was offered a six-month extension, but even if he'd taken it, it would have been the end of his tenure no matter what. I know we were pretty clear uh, with Justin that it was um, for a period of transition. When we sat down and looked at the, the needs of the team going forward, we felt that the team have, has evolved, uh, the team's needs, uh, have, um, uh, well, the requirements of the head coach uh, had had evolved. The player unrest in the middle of last year still not forgotten. And ultimately, Langer's papers were always stamped. And it was well documented that we um, we had some, some pretty robust and uh, conversations after coming back from, from Bangladesh. Can't overlook the fact that we have had some uh, uh, issues in the past. And, um, you know, I would commend you know, everybody for the shift that they made, including Jail made a, a you know, significant significant shift over the course uh, of, of this, this summer. If he was waiting for the current Australian cricket team to be presenting a face of care, I... I dare say that they won't be. Andrew McDonald will take over for the upcoming T20s against Sri Lanka and the Test Tour of Pakistan. Cricket Australia claiming they definitely wanted Langer for another six months. We very much felt that Justin had earned the right to defend the T20 uh, World Cup on home soil and um, that that worked in with that period of, of transition. Justin Langer began his tenure at Australian cricket's lowest ebb, picking up the pieces after the ball-tampering saga. He, along with new captain Tim Payne, understood what was required, both by a disenfranchised public and a broken team. An honourable series loss to India, but importantly, the Australian fans back behind them. With Smith and Warner back on board came Langer's finest hour, retaining the Ashes in England, something that hadn't been done since Langer was a player back in 2001. It was a team that seemed a united force, but it took just one bad summer for divisions to emerge. A shock home series loss to an underpowered India brought reports of serious cracks within the dressing room. A player mutiny of sorts, the team upset by Langer's intensity in an already high-pressure environment. He was asked to temper his methods, even a T20 World Cup victory and a 4-0 Ashes thumping wasn't enough to quell the raging discontent. Langer always said the final frontier was beating India in India. Australia will go there later this year without him. If we think about the journey uh, when, when, when JL started, I think, and think where the team is now, JL deserves, just deserves the most in, enormous amount of credit um, for where he's brought the team from and to. Uh, the team has evolved and uh, uh, now is the time to start that period of transition. The board unanimously supporting the transition. The Test and White Bull captains gave their opinion too. Yeah, we certainly consulted Pat. We consulted a, a range of people. We spoke to Aaron, uh, but we, we, we consulted uh, much, much more broadly um, than that. And it's the Test captain that Langer's long-time opening partner is taking aim at. We hear comments from Pat Cummins that, oh, we're all part of a high-performance review and therefore, you know, this is a healthy process. I'm sorry, Pat, but I do, not dis I do not agree with that one bit. This was not a healthy process. This announcement on the back of, you know, his Hall of Fame announcement, the whole thing just reeks of being orchestrated with, from the, basically the moment that all of this garbage started coming out, you know, in the middle of winter last year. If you listen to this Australian captain the other day, not mentioned once, any kind of commendation or support for him, I don't think he'd be going very well at all. In fact, I'd hope he wouldn't be going very well because that would be extremely hurtful. Langer's successful yet turbulent reign over. The players appear to have got their wish. Justin Edwards, Fox Sports News. Well, India have been crowned under-19 Cricket World Cup champions for the fifth time after beating England by four wickets with 14 balls remaining in the final. After winning the toss and electing to bat, England soon found themselves in trouble as Raj Bawa ripped through their middle order on his way to a brilliant five-wicket haul. James Roo, the only other man to offer any resistance, he reached 95 to set India a target of 190 for victory. The tournament favourites living up to their reputation with Dinesh Bana smashing back-to-back -back sixes in an unforgettable finish. And it's done in wonderful style. Team streaming on prior to this game. It was four titles from seven finals. Make it five from eight.
18-year-old Paceman Bawa, fittingly named player of the match with his five for 31, the best ever bowling figures in a under-19 World Cup final.